In this video, we will take a look at the different elements on the dashboard of a vehicle. Not all vehicles are the same, so the placement of these elements may be in different locations on your vehicle. Let's start with the large gauge on the left, the tachometer, or more commonly known as the RPM gauge. The tachometer measures the revolutions per minute of an engine's moving parts. The numbers from zero to eight are measured in revolutions per thousands. Drivers with a standard or manual vehicle will commonly use this gauge when shifting between the different gears. Next, take a look at the coolant temperature gauge. This gauge identifies the coolant temperature in your vehicle, ranging from hot to cold. The needle is usually pointing in the middle between the H and C. If the needle begins rising on the hot side, the check temperature symbol may appear on the dashboard indicating the coolant is hot and the vehicle may begin to overheat. Other symbols like check temperature may light up on your dashboard indicating to have your vehicle serviced or checked before any major issues begin. When you first start your vehicle, you may see the check engine, battery, or brake symbols light up. If there are no serious issues, these lights will turn off soon. Some other symbols to be aware of are the check oil, low tire pressure, low fuel, ABS, and airbag symbols. These symbols give warning that your vehicle's performance may be at risk. However, not all the symbols that light up are warnings. Some symbols let you know that a device is in use, such as your headlights, cruise control, or windshield wipers. There are also symbol indicators to help you remain safe, such as door ajar, seatbelt, and loss of traction symbols. Gear indicators may also appear on your dashboard. These indicators light up to show you what gear you are currently engaged in without the need to look at the selector's position. The gear location is indicated on the dashboard with a capital P, R, N, or D for the positions of park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Now let's look at the other large gauge. This gauge is known as the speedometer and is used to view the speed at which you are traveling. The larger numbers on the speedometer ranging from 0 to 140 measure the speed in miles per hour and the smaller numbers ranging from 0 to 220 measure the speed in kilometers per hour. You will use the miles per hour to compare your speed with local speed limit signs. Also on the dashboard, you will see the fuel level gauge and odometer. The fuel gauge will indicate the amount of fuel in your vehicle between full and empty. Pay close attention to the fuel level as it moves toward empty, especially if the indicator light comes on, because you don't want to take the risk of running out of gas. The odometer measures the distance that your vehicle has traveled. Odometers may be small dials that turn, or digital numbers, depending on your vehicle. The odometer will often have one or two trip settings that you can reset to view the distance traveled between any two points, or how far you can travel between refueling. Your vehicle may also have an information display. If so, it is usually located on the dashboard or other screen if equipped. The information center may give you more details about fuel economy, maintenance schedules, miles until fuel is empty, and more. All of these gauges, symbols, and indicators are designed to communicate with you, the driver, and inform you what is happening with the various systems of your vehicle. Since there are so many makes and models of vehicles, these items will be slightly different on your vehicle. Check your vehicle's owner's manual for more detailed information about each symbol, indicator light, and gauge that your vehicle is equipped with. Recognizing and addressing the communication made by your vehicle will help keep you and your passengers safe.